Hi guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to another episode. Today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Daiwa DX swim bait rod. I picked this rod up a couple months ago and I wanted to give you guys a full review on it and show you some of the features about it and a few catches from this uh, particular rod right here. So let's go ahead and start talking about the rod. Uh, in the DX lineup, um, they have three different models. Uh, all of them are in eight foot. They're just in different actions. This one is a eight foot heavy. Um, the lure size that it will take is anywhere from two to eight ounces and line size recommended is 12 to 40 pounds. Now, I bought this uh, rod specifically to throw Alabama rigs on and it has done great. Uh, haven't had any complaints at all with it. Um, as you can see, it has this super long uh, cork uh, grip here, along with the foregrip also is cork. And I like it because it will fit underneath your arm right here and you're able to really set the hook on those super long casts, which is very important anytime that you're throwing a swim bait is because usually you're making really long casts, just like with the Alabama rig, and you want that backbone of the rod to be able to set that hook. Um, to get the fish in. Um, now the components on this rod is made up of Fuji uh, uh, components. The real seat is Fuji and the guides are also Fuji. Uh, it does have nine guides on it. It'd be eight and then including the tip would be nine. Um, they are a little bit larger in size as you can see from what you would get on a normal rod, but that is because you're, you have a eight foot rod here. But all in all, I really like the, um, uh, the way the rod has performed. Uh, you can see the uh, hook keeper is up here away from uh, your reel and the handle. That way, uh, because bigger swim baits have larger hooks, you would want them up here out of the way. Um, but really, I mean, as you're going to see in the videos that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you about three different catches with the Alabama rig. Uh, I mean, I really set the hook on these fish and you're going to be able to hear the, the hook sets. And uh, I mean, I have put the rod to the test and I feel like that uh, it has performed really, really well. These rods are coming in at $99. So Daiwa really done well with this uh, in the price range. I mean, they built a really good quality rod for $100. And I feel like that uh, for a swim bait rod, that is really good because a lot of swim bait rods will run pretty high. But I like this. It's not super heavy. I mean, it's really not. I mean, this is very light. I've got it paired with a dial with Tatula. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade the reel uh, just to something maybe just a little bit bigger, uh, you know, a heavier duty or that'll hold a little more line. Uh, but uh, all in all, I, I really, really like the rod. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out some of the catches uh, from this rod and let you guys see how it performed. And it is deep. There he was. Got him big and there's a keeper. Watch my pole. Son, he choked it. You want to keep him or let him go? Uh, keep him. We well, he's obviously keeping. He's like 18 inches, bro. I've got a deck full of stuff right here. <laughs> Gosh, giant. Oh my gosh. Don't come undone, please. Get him away from the water.
got him. Big one. Big one. That's a toad, man. Show it to the camera and put it in a live well. Okay, so you got to see the catches there from this rod and how it performed. Um, I did not mention that this is a IM7 graphite blank on the rod, uh, so I want to go ahead and mention that uh, in case you guys are interested. Uh, I did purchase this one through Tackle Warehouse, uh, but if your local tackle store has it, I highly recommend you to buy local if you can. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, go down to the comment section below and leave me a comment, and I'll be glad to answer it the best that I can. And if you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, that way you know when we put out videos. Until next time, this is Josh for Josh and Hunter's Adventures, and thanks for watching.